recently, right? The last patch, they changed how the stat scaling works. So originally, like this is going back uh, to play tests. They changed stat scaling on certain wizard spells, Ignite and Magic Missile being the two that they changed. So on Magic Missile, it's a 12 damage base, right? But then it scales off of will and it scales off of plus spell damage. The same thing with Ignite. It would have five additional magic damage when you hit somebody with uh, with an ignited weapon. But again, it scales off of plus spell damage and plus will. And they changed both of them so that Ignite, I think, scaled 50%. And I know Magic Missile only scaled 50%. So in order to give Magic Missiles, like each hit of a Magic Missile, needed to have plus two spell damage in order for it to hit for an extra single point of damage. And then that was modified by 1.5x if you got headshots. All of that got reverted. So the nerfs that happened to stuff like Haste, which used to be faster and longer duration it used to be you got invis for like uh seven seconds and it gave you 10 percent movement speed and then haste was like i think 15 percent. both of these have been nerfed so you don't run as fast and you don't stay as as invisible for as long i guess not as invisible you don't stay invisible for as long but the damage from ignite and the damage that's applied to magic missiles both got buffed into the stratosphere so the stabby stab build with like a gray rondel dagger and a bunch of spell damage works amazing well now so all of that stuff got reverted back to what it was like two play tests ago like play test four and and now you can still buff the shit out of yourself go invisible sprint somebody down and like triple stab a, a fully decked out fighter uh and they'll die so you become like a faster stronger magic based rogue so if you're if you were going to do that though uh, what I would recommend is to go with the shield talents. You do you do reactive shield, you do ice shield for the extra armor rating, and that way if you get hit, it also slows them, so the second hit comes out significantly slower than the first. And then you do fire mastery for the extra dot ticks and melt so that they lose armor rating when you hit them. So that way, uh, they well, not, not armor rating, physical damage bonus. So they take more physical damage as a result of you having stabbed them with ignite, and then they're taking extra dot ticks from the uh, from the fire damage when you when you stab them works amazingly well. Super defensive, like as a wizard build because of all the damage absorption that you can get, and it and it hurts like a lot. If you really want to be cheeky, you can go with arcane shield too because you get uh, a 20 damage absorb and it and it will absorb magic damage. We tested this last night where uh, Nizori was running a wizard with arcane shield instead and didn't use meditate as a defensive measure. He became really tanky actually and I cast one of my dots on him when he had arcane shield up and it just absorbed the dot and it didn't do any healing for me. So uh, if you get dotted by it, you can just put the arcane shield up and the arcane shield will eat the dot from uh, from like a warlock which is kind of interesting because now the warlock isn't getting healed because it's getting it's hitting the shield instead so kind of really cool really cool yeah but yeah we're supposed to be seeing uh supposed to be seeing a patch uh in the next uh what a uh, day or so that's going to bring us a duo queue which is kind of cool and uh, looking forward to that but that's uh yeah that's uh that's like probably the the largest like most major change from the patch that I can see is how it modified wizards because wizards are like in the strongest place in, that they've been since like playtest three right now and and all of that is going to get nerfed like they're probably going to re-nerf ignite they're probably going to re-nerf magic missiles they're probably going to nerf zap they kind of need to uh, because late game wizard is is insanely strong right now late game wizard late game rogue late game ranger are like super 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 strong like uh, overpoweredly strong I think like for damage dealing because uh, if you're decked like a super decked out gamer is going to get one shot by a ranger if they hit you in the head with a bow i would expect to see nerfs that come along from those like i think they're going to nerf plus physical damage for certain skills i think they're going to nerf uh strength scaling for certain skills uh they're going to nerf plus weapon damage for certain skills and i think they're gonna they're gonna nerf um uh magic scaling will scaling on uh certain spells uh for for like late game wizards uh, like a level one spell so what i mean by that is uh on on this guy if we go to the spell list like zap is a level one a tier one spell right tier one spell in my mind should be something that's like used to soften somebody up right it shouldn't be something where it's like i'm gonna hit you with zap and it's gonna be half your hp pool because in a single meditate i can get all five of those spells back and the wind up isn't all that long especially if i stack knowledge or if I have spell haste, um, something like that 
you shouldn't be able to neutralize someone coming at you before they ever even reach you by using a quick cast like tier one spell. It should take a little bit more work than that, you know? You shouldn't be able to pull that off, in my, in my opinion. Other people I'm sure would disagree because it feels awful good when you're able to like two tap somebody regardless of what they're wearing and watch them fold, but it doesn't feel great. And I think I think from a game balance perspective that shouldn't really be like that. Wizards cool blowing people up with fireball. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But and I think that's the way that they're going with it. I think that's the way that they're they're working on this like from a directional standpoint. I think they're going to nerf stuff based on what they said in their last patch notes. I think that they're going to nerf classes on individual skills and and how those skills have scaling applied to them as opposed to it being like a blanket change like SDF was talking about in their last announcement. You think most of today's patch notes are going to focus on wizard nerfs? I don't think it'll just be wizards if they're doing balance changes. I think it's going to be wizards. I think it's going to be stat scaling on rogue uh, abilities, uh, and I think it's going to be stat scaling on physical and weapon damage. It, they, I already know, I know that they've already been looking at how physical and plus weapon damage scales for like late game shit. Um, and it needs to be adjusted because like a rogue, again, same thing, like a rogue or a ranger, like a ranger one tapping a head from across a map with a longbow or uh, a rogue being able to one or two tap somebody because they've got like plus 12 physical damage on their gear doesn't feel great. It feels great for the person doing the stabbing, but it doesn't feel great on the receiving end because there's no answer, right? There's no there's no back and forth. You can't respond and, and you should be able to, right? Like it should be more of a fight than that. Item nerf, top ends are going to come down. But again, I'm not I'm not the game dev, right? I'm not trying to like influence anybody's decisions or how they make the game. I'm just, you know, my own my own personal opinion from playing it as long as I've been playing it. This should nerf dual wield fighter. <laughs> Dude, dual wield fighter with adrenaline rush is uh is a force to be reckoned with, especially if they've got like speed buffs. You get you get like bard cleric behind a fighter and you turn him into a fucking juggernaut. Or or like bard wizard. Cause like the bard gives them run speed and then the wizard gives them haste and then they just run up, use adrenaline rush, and then it's like chop, 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 chop. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy. They go like full on Paul Bunyan sim. Ran DW. Uh, now I will say I will say this though. I will say this. Um, a lot of times the things that people are complaining about when it comes to this game and being counterplayed has to do with common builds that people get used to and then directly counter. So they're being they're being played against based on it, right? Like there's a reason why people will build wizards with a bunch of reactive shielding and and ice shield and all that stuff, right? Because they end up being the soft target. So they build themselves in a way where they're not as soft anymore and they have the ability to be able to tank a shot or two. You see what I'm saying? So they can counterplay that and still be lethal as opposed to, well, I'm just going to build full glass cannon. I'm going to have a ton of damage and I'm going to have all of this dot ability and I can debuff people with my fireballs and like all this stuff. But at the same time, I'm, I'm squishy as hell, right? So there is something to be said about players creating builds to make themselves like slightly less DPS oriented and more survivability oriented that tend to be able to... Um, like keep themselves alive longer than just being one shot by somebody you see what i mean but it depends even given all of that though if there's still players that are getting whacked in like a single hit then it's an issue you see what i'm saying so like you can counter build to an extent but if you can't then they got to do something you know what i mean so yeah but i to that end i think that it still deserves like it needs it needs a nerf run the shield instead of meditate in trios yeah yeah <laughs>